Hey, hey, hey. Wakey, wakey. Rise and shine, my love. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. I made you breakfast. Oh dear Lord. <laughs> to get up, get up, get up. Should I help you? Should I help you? Oh, baby, stop. <laughs> I'm pregnant. I'm not an invalid. Okay, Leave me okay. Alone. How are you? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come, let's go. I made you breakfast. Come, come, let's go, let's go. Uh, you see what is I that? Yeah. Oh my God! You have eaten these eggs and cooking bags. Yes, yes, that's how you like You it. will not kill me, man. Okay. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> All right. So, it's, okay. So what are you thinking? Cooking bags and eggs. <laughs> you know, it's just to make it look uh, sumptuous. Eh? I can see. <laughs> All right. So it's time to try this. Let's go, let's go. No, don't play with me this morning. Give me. <laughs> Tell me. Mm. It's nice one. Mm. No, baby. Ooh. You're the sweetest man in this world. You're the sweetest woman in this world, too. <laughs> what have I done to deserve you? Uh, I'm just gonna eat. Oh, well, you know, you're my pride. And besides, you're carrying a mini me. <laughs> so I'll always love and I'll always cherish you. I love you too. I mean, you bring me breakfast every day. Yes. You're so caring. Not a lot of men are this nice. Call for you. But you started making me breakfast every day. Please don't stop. Oh, no, don't worry. I will never stop. Don't tell me I have to go to work. Oh. No worry. Now, mm -hmm. I have started it too. I will continue it and <laughs> I will finish it. Don't worry. It's not that just because I'm pregnant now, you're a nice no, man. No, no. Don't yeah, worry, man. Yes, 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 I love you. Now that he loves me, this is me he chose. She's not easy. No, 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 now, uh -uh, sweetheart, no, ah, I've told you before that you leave all these things for me, I'll handle it. Baby, I'm not doing anything. Besides, you're a man, you shouldn't even be doing these things. And where is it written that a man should not help out? Eh? Ah. ah, see, the way you're going now, you need a maid. Though. I don't need a maid, I'm bored in the house. Okay, I mean, I'm bored, okay, fine, it's fine for now. You don't need a maid, or you are going inside. I'm going to rest. Let me finish this thing. I just finished eating. I don't want to rest. Let me do something. Exactly. Least... You finish eating, so you need to rest. No, I just need to go, 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 go. Yeah, go and rest, go and rest, go and rest, go and rest. Thank you. All right, I'll finish up here. I'll, I'll see you in a bit. Love you. Love you too. Your wife is fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, we could not save the baby. What did you just say, doctor? doctor. Mr. Dennis, please put yourself together. No, no, no. See me in my doctor, office. Doctor, please. No, no, no. See me in my doctor, office. Doctor, please. Oh, no. Yes. 
brought you breakfast. All righty. All right. Look what we have here. Ta da! <laughs> Looks so good, yeah? Sweetheart, you have not eaten anything since this thing happened. Please, you need to eat. You need food in your system. Please, eat something. Let me just help you out, okay? Get that thing out of my face. Clara, I know how painful what happened is. But please, we have to move on. Please, eat something, I beg you, okay? Please. Daddy! Well, I, I really understand. I mean, that pregnancy was almost due before she lost it. So, I can understand her pain. Yeah, I feel her pain too. Honestly, I do. But what bothers me the most is the fact that she has become a shadow of herself. She has refused to move on. The child is gone. There's nothing we can do about it. We need to move on and plan our future. Dennis, it's serious on you. You have to, you know, help her get over the pain. You know, find a way to divert her attention, maybe love her, care for her more. It's been over two weeks now, so you need to help her get out of the situation. Yeah. Well, Martins, trust me, I've tried, though. I've really tried. Oh, well, but like you rightly said, I just have to try harder. Yeah, you know, women, emotion, and all of that. So you need, you need to try harder, yeah? But man, you, you started taking something too hard. This is too harsh. What is going on here? Welcome to an amazing dinner date with me, my love. Please, sit and enjoy this wonderful moment with me. Dennis, are you even serious? Dennis, I just lost a child. I am mourning. I'm not even in the mood for festivities. And you're here trying to do what? Oh, clearly I understand where all this is going. After the so-called dinner, what next? Sex? I mean, all you men are the same. Dennis, you are so shameless. Enough! Enough, Lara! What is wrong with you? Yes, you lost the child, but what about me? Do you think you loved that child any more than I did? Do you think you have lost any more than I have? What is all this? All this while I've been trying to suppress my pain just to help you get out of this state. But all you do is give me attitude. What is wrong with you? I'm tired! I'm tired, Clara. What is it? Just like you, I have lost my child. Just like you, I am grieving. But don't like you, I am not wallowing in self-pity. If all this makes any sense to you, you will understand that I also need someone to comfort me. I also need someone to ask me how I'm doing. But obviously that person is not you. Excuse me.
Hi. Um. Can I join you? No, thank you. I do not need company. I do not wish to talk. I just want to sit. Listen, young woman, I have a wife. <laughs> I didn't ask if you were married. Then what do you want from me? Well, like I said, I just want to sit. Or maybe you can get me a drink or two. I won't ask you anything and you do not have to talk. Let's just drink in silence. <laughs> Dennis, you are so shameless. Enough. Enough, Laura. What is wrong with you? Do you think you have lost any more than I have? What is all this? All this while I've been trying to suppress my pain just to help you get out of this state. But all you do is give me attitude. I'm tired, Clara. Just like you, I am grieving. But unlike you, I am not wallowing in self-pity. If all this makes any sense to you, you will understand that I also need someone to comfort me. I also need someone to ask me how I'm doing. But obviously that person is not you. I'm very sorry for the way I spoke to you. Don't be mad at me, please. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so. You're off. Oh, God, you're full. My, my, my fault, okay. Uh, yes, uh, okay. Thank you. Who are you? Oh. What are you doing here? Oh. Oh. What do you mean by what am I doing here? We spent the night together and you're asking me this. We spent. Oh. What happened? Oh. Exactly what's in your mind. Look, do not worry, okay? I won't tell your wife. You were actually good in bed. It was refreshing. Mm. <sighs> Don't worry. You didn't cheat on your wife. Although you were with me, but you called Clara all night. Mm? So technically, you were sleeping with her.
Sweetheart, you've been quite moody. Don't tell me it has something to do with you being unable to conceive. It's been six months. I have waited six months. Haven't I tried? Sweetheart, you're a human being and not a machine. Yes, you lost a child, but your body lost something as well. And it needs to recover. So please, give it time. Anxiety does have its own side effects, you know. Please, Clara, you will conceive. I'm very sure of that. But for now, just eat, calm down, and allow your body to recover from its loss. Please, eh? No, 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 Clara. What? Please, please. Not tonight, please. I'm tired. I want to rest, please. You need to conceive. Clara, wait now. I've been trying now. Eh? I've been trying now. This is not government work. Ah, ah. There are so many other things for us to focus on now. Please, I want to sleep tonight. I beg, I beg. Do you think this is funny? I need to have a child. This is not funny. Clara, wait. Clara, I'm not God, though. We have had sex more than 20 times this week alone. Uh -uh. Are we planning to go for a sex competition or something? Please, I beg. I want to sleep tonight. Please, please. I need to conceive. And I need to sleep. Ha! Huh. Care of if I receive more. Oh, yeah. I hope I don't get oh, well, it's your house, so knock yourself out. Oh, I miss you so much. I miss you too. How about wifey? She's fine, she's inside. Oh, okay. Alright, so knock yourself. Let me just okay. jump in. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. <laughs> Clara! Woo! Oh my, oh my god, you look so good. Thank you. I'm sorry about what happened. I was heartbroken when I heard it. But um, I need you to know that everything will be fine. You just have to look beyond it. Hmm. Ella, I won't even lie, it's not easy. Like, I just feel like I've lost flair for life. But it's okay. I'm happy now that you're here. I feel like I'm gonna get my groove back. Mm, trust me, you're going to cheer up whether you like it or not. Look, eh, I need you to know that children will come. Just give it a little more time. And I've waited six months. Hmm. Give Isn't them, that enough? Give them more time. A little more, a little more. Now you're beginning to sound like your brother. No, oh, he's my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I hope my room is still available. Of course. Oh, good to see you. Always ah. have a room here. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Ella, tell me every gist that has been happening in town. I know you have all the juiciest gossips in town. <laughs> so, now that you're here, let it out. Mm. Oh my God, that must be my husband. Now get it. Let me, let me do that. Oh, dear Lord. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Uh, oh, sorry, who are you? I'm here to see Dennis. Is he home? Uh, my husband is not home. I wish to wait for him. Excuse me, who are you and why should we let you wait? <laughs> you see, I am Aisha and I am the mother of his unborn child. <laughs> My darling your baby and I have missed you so much. <laughs> Aisha. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here and what are you talking about? What do you mean? We spent quality nights together the last time. And the planted seed is germinating. So what don't you understand? Hmm? <laughs> Dennis! Upstairs. Please, please, I can explain. Did, did you sleep with her? Clara, please, just calm down. I can explain to you what happened. Dennis, I'm asking you a question. Did you sleep with that little girl? Yes. Yes, I had sex with her, but it was just one of those weak moments. Clara, it was a one-night stand. Please, on the... If my eyes are saying correctly, that girl should be around six months gone, right? Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Wow. So while I was busy mourning the loss of my child, Dennis, while I was heartbroken, dealing with pain, you were out there sleeping with a little girl. How could you do this to me, Dennis? Tara, please, please, let me explain. Look, I'm, I'm not even sure if that child is mine, you know? At this point, please, let's, let's just work together to see how we can find a solution to this. You know what? I want that little rat. Out of my house! Out of my house, Dennis! I am not going anywhere. I have rights here too. You are the father of my unborn child, so why should I be the one to leave? This is my house, and I decide who stays and who leaves. And I'm saying that you will not spend one more second under this roof, so get your freaking things and get out of this house. Clara, you just have to calm down. This is no how to handle situations like this. I think we should all put our heads together and figure out a more reasonable way to handle this that will be fair to all parties. The only reasonable way is for this rat to get out of this house. 
this cockroach, this alacony, get out of this house. Get out. Brother, please, can I see for you? What are you doing? That child is yours. Who is Clara to tell you whether or not to, 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 to accept your child? What are you saying, Ella? Clara is my wife. Accepted. But that is your flesh and blood. Do not throw away your child because of a barren woman. Hey! Watch your mouth. Fine. Aisha might not have a place in this house or in your life. But that child does. See, do not throw away your child. I know you're trying to be a dutiful husband to your wife. But you owe that child something. Look, do not let your child pay for your mistakes, brother. Be wise. Aisha, what happened to the place where you used to stay? I was staying with a friend, but her family is returning today. So what happened to the slum that you came from? Are the streets empty? Go back to the freaking street where you belong. Um, Clara, calm down, okay? So, if I pay for a place, will you stay there? You, you what? No, I won't stay. I want my child to be close to its father. So I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm here to stay. You freaking, freaking, get out of this house. Get him. Send this trash out of this house. But you just said what she Who's said. Who's the now? freaking father of your like, Get out. Clara, calm down now. You heard what she said now. She has nowhere to stay. And so? What? Okay, okay, okay. What? You know what? This is what will happen. Aisha will stay here with us until I make my final decision. Well, I will not be under this roof with you or this girl. And I will never forget this betrayal. But, but, but Clara, Clara, come, Clara! blackmail. She's going nowhere. Clara loves you way too much to leave. Are you sure? Because if she leaves, you don't like what I'll do to you. Calm down. Trust me. She's going nowhere. Look, just play along, okay? She just left. Calm down. Clara just left. Calm down, just play again. Dennis, I see this has been your plan all along. So that I can live your life while you marry this little girl. It will not work. My bag is outside. Get it. I'll be in my room. Aisha, I am a gentleman. That is why I'm not denying the fact that something happened between us. I was drunk, but you weren't. 
So I could easily term this as rape. But I won't. That's by the way. You have no rights to show up at my doorstep claiming rights, regardless of what happened. I do not wish to embarrass or insult you. But if my wife had left tonight, then you would have seen the beast. Ooh. I don't know what games you're trying to play, but let me assure you, this issue must be revisited. And you have a lot to answer for. Now tell me, is my brother really responsible for this pregnancy? You heard him, right? I did, but I want to hear from your mom. Is he responsible for this? Okay. What happens when two adults have unprotected sex and the lady in question happens to be in our relation? Hmm? Yes. Your brother is the father of this child. Hmm. Hmm. What is wrong with you, Clara? Eh? What is wrong with you? I've told you several times to stop acting on impulse. Eh? Hmm. No one is going to send this child away. Oh. Wait, are you, do you want to leave your matrimonial home for this? Oh. Are you that weak? I'm not weak. It's just that I don't have this kind of heart to entertain this kind of pain. Clara, you're a woman. And I understand what you go through. You women have strength more than you give yourselves credit for. You're strong, you can do this. So what should I do now? Fight for your marriage, Clara. Fight for your marriage. Whatever it takes, fight. I'm so scared. If there is anything I know, is that your Dennis loves you so much. Trust him, he loves you. Now you stand to your own advantage. Do not push him too hard. Mm -mm. Don't push him too hard. Use it to your own advantage. I promise you things will work out. Okay, all right? Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll call you tomorrow. I'll see you. Okay, so this would be your room for now. Um, <clears throat> if you need anything, you let me know. Thank you. I don't know if you understand what's happening, but in case you don't, I need you to know that you're the one laying the golden egg. And if you're wise, you will take over this house. Use your head. <laughs> you're making my job easy. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> Bro, you need to be very careful. I mean, people like Aisha are not to be trusted. Come on. You're not even sure whether the baby she's talking about is your own. You have to save what is left of your home. Bro. Thank you. Thank you. See. Bro. Yeah. Clara is my main problem. Clara is driving me nuts. 
I thought she would be the one to team up with me so we can find a solution to this whole thing. But on the contrary, she's just, she's putting me in a very tight situation. She's boxing me up in a tight corner. I thought for this whole thing, no, bro. But what do you expect? I mean, what do you expect? I mean, she's your wife. And she needs to assert her authority. She has, you know, she has gone through a lot. And you should understand that. Yes, I understand all this, but bro, the problem here is that Clara is someone that always likes to put herself first in everything. She's very selfish, though. No, 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 no jokes. Clara likes to play the victim every single time. Calm down, bro. Cut her some slacks. I'm sure, well, I'm sure you're going to figure this out. I hope I do. <laughs> you will, I I do. obviously. Sorry about the problem. Wow. And he comes back late. You cause a problem, you abandon it, and you disappear. So typical. Clara, you need some rest, you know. So I advise that you get some sleep. Really? Hmm. You get a girl knocked up. She gets pregnant. You insist that she lives under this roof. And then you go out to have fun. Is that it, Dennis? You're obviously still upset. Just get some sleep, please. Then when you calm down, we can talk about this. You have lost every freaking right to tell me what to do. <sighs> well, like I said, try and get some rest. When you calm down, then we can talk about this. Is that it? You're leaving? I mean, that is what you always do. You run away from every single problem. Where do you freaking think you're going? Hmm. Good morning, everyone. I see. Breakfast looks amazing. <laughs> Excuse me, what do you think you're doing? I mean, this is a family affair, clearly you can see. And you're not family, so you can't sit here. She's the one carrying the heir to the family. Isn't she more of a family than you? I, I, what did you say? You? Mm -hmm. Look, I've been keeping quiet since yesterday. But I'm not going to let you maltreat Aisha. You might be the wife of this house, but clearly she's the woman of this house. Wow. How dare you talk to me like that? Did you hear that? No, did you hear that? Yes, I did, you know, but I'm sure she doesn't mean it like that. No, she means every single thing that came out of her mouth. You know what? You will not sit in this table. If she sits, I leave. Come on now, Clara. It's, it's a table. It's a dining room. Our table. Fine. But let's all eat together, please. Clara. Clara.
that about? You embarrassed my wife in front of Aisha. Have you lost it? I just spoke the truth. What truth? Now listen to me, Ella. This is the last time I will warn you. Don't you ever again get involved with issues that concern my wife and I. Don't cross your boundaries. You disappoint me, brother. Ah, you disappoint me. I am here doing everything possible to save this situation. And you are there considering me an enemy. You and I know that that accident damaged Clara's room. And she will not be able to... Shut up! Shut up! Are you mad? Do you want to hear you? Hey, Ella, let me tell you something. If by any reason my wife finds out about this whole thing, due to your stupidity, I promise you I will spill the life out of you. This is not your brother talking to you right now. This is a husband. Be warned. Did you see the anger in her eyes? The rage, the bitterness. <gasps> she was in pain. Oh, and I enjoyed what? every single bit of it. You know, my mission is gradually getting accomplished. All I ever wanted was to see Clara cry so bad. Mm -hmm. So why don't I spice it up a bit? By going back upstairs, and relieving the beautiful moment your brother and I spent in front of her. Say, stop dreaming. Huh. See, my loving brother here actually threatens to strangle me in there. Let alone you. Who are you? He's not even in a good state of mind. If you try it, he's going to deal with you and even the vultures will not recognize your carcass. Well, I'm pregnant. Hmm? My baby and I need him. We need him. Oh, well, sure, no problem. Let me go to the kitchen and get food. Uh, I thought we just finished eating. Uh, that one I had is for me. Now my baby is hungry. Eh? Let me go. Since you and your brother don't want to give me the other food, let me get this food. <laughs> So what were you expecting? Hmm? You, you thought she was going to be on your side or anyone else? It just breaks my heart because this is someone that I opened up my heart to. There's nothing I don't tell her. So for her to betray me like this, it's just, it just beats me. Ah, uh, she should be less of your worries right now. Mm-hmm, she should be. Anyway, as your cousin, I think I'd love to have a word with your husband. You know, Dennis is the worst of it all. If anyone had told me that Dennis would, would betray me like this, I would not have believed it. And he did this to me. God, oh. God, God. I keep telling you this. You allow your emotions to get the best side of you. Eh? All you need is emotional intelligence. I keep telling you this. You need to know how to manage yourself and manage others. Eh? You need to. Listen. You do the best you can and leave the rest for God. You can kill yourself. Eh? You, you really need to relax. Like, you really need to relax. Ah. Come in. It's you. <laughs> I've been expecting you. Well, I'm here now, Aisha. Let's cut the chase. What do you want? Because I'm tired of all this drama going on in my house. I love my wife and I love my marriage. <laughs> exactly. Hmm? 
That's why this duel is essential. I'm listening. Come sit. Calm. I'm serious, I shall not be good for this. Okay then. I want three things. Firstly, I need financial security. Secondly, I want you to marry me. And thirdly, I want you to divorce your wife. Clara, <laughs> because I do not wish to share my husband. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Aisha, no, 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 you have to tell me. What have you been smoking? Hmm. No, what have you been smoking lately? Because <laughs> you think I'm going to fall for any of this nonsense? Then you must be a joker. Do your worst, Aisha. I would never divorce my wife. And I would never marry you. Really? <laughs> I thought you claimed to love your wife. Mm? No problem. I will just tell her that her womb is damaged. <laughs> And that you lied to her. <laughs> Where did you get that nonsense from? Who told you that? 48 hours, Dennis. You have 48 hours. <laughs> or your wife will hear the truth. And, um, and we have bought this child. And then you will lose your family and also the hope of having a child soonest. Mm -hmm. Ella, I've been looking for you. You probably have been searching the wrong places. So, what have you been up to? The usual, the same plan. How did it go? Well, it went well. Actually, I told him everything I needed. And although he's trying to act the loyal husband, but I'm sure he's going to do it. What exactly did you tell him? Everything I wanted, most especially my financial security, because that is important for me and my baby. Talking about financial security, I have a demand to make. From who? From you, of course. I, I don't understand. You see, before my brother got married to Claire, he used to give me my monthly allowance and even pay some miscellaneous bill. But now, he stopped. And if you must come into his life, you have to promise me that you're going to make him start giving me my allowance and doing all the other things he used to do. <laughs> Look, I don't get it. It's not like I have access to his account or I would tell him what to do with his money. Hey, if you're not going to do this for me, you just let me know and I'll opt out right now. Okay, 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 that's, that's fine. I will, I'll work on that. And yeah, that will make me look good in front of him. Whatever. <laughs> so Sir Tony, what's your plan? I mean, I have decided to fully take my hands off it. You're a man, you can handle your home better. 
right? And Clara is my cousin. I wouldn't want anyone taking it away from my home. So what's your plan? I perfectly understand, Carlos. That is why I took out time to explain to you how everything happened. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know Clara can be impulsive. I know she can be like that, but the truth is I actually want this whole issue to come down. Like, I want you guys to settle this, for real. I know you do, but bro, let's face facts here. The child we're talking about here, we're not even sure if it's mine or not. That's the truth, bro. Look at it. So, I have a plan, Carlos. This is what I intend to do. I'm going to allow Aisha to give birth to this baby. When she does, I'll do a DNA test to ascertain if this child is mine or not. But for now, I'll just play along, you know, just do like a safe. Uh, hey, everything is all right. Because, bro, let's face the fact. I had something to do with this girl. Mm. Hmm. But, but even now, a DNA test can be done. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm, I'm aware of that. Don't get it twisted. Okay. Yes, a DNA test can be done now. Okay. But, no. I don't want to do it now. I don't want to put her or the baby through all that stress, you know? And secondly, I don't have to know. Yes, I don't have to know my plans at all. So, so for now, I'll just play along. She gives birth to the baby. Then, I will now contact my doctor. They will do the test on the low. She will not know. That's my plan. Yeah. Oh. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah. yeah. But does she, does she know about this? I mean, your wife. Because I feel if you're making such plan, you should be able to carry your wife along. I mean, let her know your plans. That's, that's what I feel. You know? Mm. Carlos, no. No. She's your cousin. She's my, my wife. wife. I know, yes. Yeah, and we both know her well enough. She's very impulsive, you know. Clara can spill this thing before time. She can, and you know it. So, no, no, no. Let's not tell her. I won't tell her anything about it. I'll just go along with this plan without her knowing. Carlos, that's what I want to do. Please. You see, Dennis? Mm -hmm. We're both men. Truth be told. I still feel you should have a one-on-one -on -one with your wife. I mean, if you want her to trust you and not doubt it, then you have to trust her to give her the information. Let her know. I mean, for some reason, I trust her to keep it. You just have to let her know, bro. I don't, don't keep her in the dark. Let her know these things. I know she can be crazy and all that. She can be impulsive, but sit her down this is your wife sit her down and talk to her and trust her with this you never know if this is your plan i mean why are we hiding it why don't you just tell her and then so she can get her things and, and leave clara if this child is mine I'm not going to abandon this child. And I want to trust that you understand this. And uh, Aisha? Clara. Clara, listen to me. Aisha means nothing to me. As a matter of fact, she will never mean anything to me. Clara. Please, I just want you to trust me and work with me on this. Please. She's approaching her seventh month, so all this will be over soon. Please, Clara, I know I've wronged you and I apologize for everything. Please, I want this marriage to work way more than you think. I promise to make up for all the pains that I've caused you. Please. 
please, Clara. I just want you to please trust me and work with me. I love you so much. I'm sorry. Please. It's okay. Okay. You will all be okay. Okay. Sorry. The food is for the fertile ones. If you are hungry, this is your kitchen. Fix yourself something to eat. Yes, excuse me. Ella? Hmm? Why would you talk to me like that? Do you realize that you're under my roof? <laughs> this is my brother's house. Do I look like I care? Do I? You, Clara. This is your brother's house, right? If you have forehead, put on that gas. Put on that gas. If I don't burn you down, you call me a bat. Try me. for you. She what? Go and see for yourself. She poured out the food you made for me. Is she mad? Yeah? Huh. Oh. She has outdone herself. Has she forgotten that I have as much right as she does? She will hear from me. So Clara thinks that I have beaten more than I can chew. I'm going to show her that she's nothing but an intruder, a stranger, a bloody gold digger that just found her way into my brother's life. How dare you, Clara? How dare you throw away my food? This pregnancy you are carrying, is it affecting your brain? Do you realize I'm more than 10 years older than you? Get out of my room. I am carrying Dennis's child. So you should respect me. I don't blame you. I blame whoever raised you. No, you've seen my husband's nakedness. You can call him by his first name. He's your mate. Is he not? Aisha, leave my room because I swear to you, I'm one second away from smashing your head on the wall. Get out. The countdown begins now. I will make sure you leave this house. Else my name is not Aisha. <sighs> Get out. You will hear from me. You're back. Oh, Aisha. Welcome. Thank you. So, how are you and how is the baby? You have until tomorrow to grant my request or I will start talking. Is that the way to respond to the question I asked you? Look, I'm not joking, okay? Do as I request or your precious wife your precious wife will hear the truth. And I would tell her in such a way, ah, oh, that she will never want to see you again. 
Oh, that's if she survives the shock. <laughs> Remember, 24 hours. Welcome. A lot has happened that has caused me pain. I'm hurt and I'm heartbroken. I don't even know the woman I am anymore. So many things I never thought I could ever tolerate or take, I have taken. Because I love you. I've never been so scared in my life. I'm scared. I'm scared that you're going to leave me and I do not have the heart to take another heartbreak. So you mean you hit something this big from Clara? But why? I mean, you allowed her to keep having faith that she would conceive, but that's not possible anymore. Carlos, did you see your cousin when she lost her baby? She was a shadow of herself. I could not risk her life by giving her such information. The only thing that has kept Clara going is the hope that she can conceive again. So what happens when that hope is lost? I'll lose my wife. So, what's your plan? I mean, Aisha is bent on talking to her today. What would you do? Honestly, Carlos, I have no plans. I don't know what to do. That's why I'm here talking to you. I need your help. Aisha has to be stopped. First of all, there's a lot going on in your family that you need to fix. And then, have a talk with Clara. Meaning? Do you want to divorce her? No, never. Then talk to her. Talk to her before Aisha beats you to it. Because if she does, the outcome will be disastrous. But how do I even bring myself to start telling her this kind of information? Where do I even start from? I mean, box into a corner. Make a move and save your marriage. Hmm? Doctor, doctor, what is the problem? I have been here severally and you're not giving me any tangible explanation. Why am I not getting pregnant? I don't know what to say to you anymore. Uh, I've been stalling you. I had a conversation with your husband and he insists that he's going to tell you at the appropriate time. Why don't you go home and talk to him? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Um, go home, talk to your husband. He has the answers that you seek. That's Dennis? Yes, your husband. How are you doing? 
guys. Ah, uh, welcome. Um, is Clara inside? Oh, uh, no. She went out about the time you did. But she's on leave now. Where could she have gone to? Dennis. Uh -huh. Sweetheart, you're here. I was just even asking about you and everything. Dennis. What is the truth? What? I'm just coming back from the hospital to find out from the doctor why I've been unable to conceive. And the doctor says that my husband has the answers that I seek. So what is the truth, Dennis? Clara, please um, calm down. I can explain, okay? Oh, okay. I'm calm. Please, let's go inside. Dennis! Don't you even dare! What is it? Brother, just tell her the truth already. So she can shut the hell up. Exactly! Yeah? Maybe that will clip her wings. Shut up, the two of you! Shut up! Who asked for your opinion? Um, sorry. Is, is, is there something they know that I don't? Was it a secret? <laughs> no, it wasn't. You seem to be the only one who does not- Shut up! Ella, I said shut up! Uh -uh. Why are you shutting her up now? Tell her the truth! Oh, okay, don't worry, let me tell you. <laughs> I try. What? You see, when you fell and lost your baby, <laughs> you also lost your womb. You will never, I mean, never be able to be a mother. <laughs> your womb has been damaged. Is that true? Tara, please. Pay, don't pay any attention to her, please. I promise I will explain, please. What is it you want to explain, eh? What do you want to tell her? When you were told, you kept quiet. You kept on encouraging and giving her hope to be patient. Abby? You should have told her. It's her body. She should know what is wrong with her body. First, you cheated on her and you kept it away from her. Little wonder why you got Aisha pregnant. Hmm. Because you knew that she wasn't going to be able to have a child. Nice move, bro. You didn't even love her like you claimed to be. Shut up! Ah! Why are you hitting her now? She only said the truth. This is what it has always been. Since you got married, it has been all about her. I'm your only surviving family. But you don't care about me like you used to. Clara is my wife. And you have to Clara! Sweetheart! You have done your worst today. But let me tell you something. If anything happens to Clara, if anything happens to my wife, I will throw caution to the wind. Do you want let to kill her? Yes, I want to kill her! And I want to kill you too! I want to kill everybody! I've lost it! I've lost it! Hello? Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm coming. Who was that? I'm sorry, I... I only found out this morning. He was willing to talk to you about it. But decided to keep it away from you so he doesn't hurt you. It was my life. My body. My decision to make. He cheated on me. Only someone who loves you would keep you away from something or anything that will bring you pain or hurt. No one who really loves you would lie to you. No one. Genuine lies, white lies, they're only told by loved ones to save us from things like this. Do not allow this to destroy you, Clara. 
No wonder he slept with Aisha. Listen, Clara. Do not allow those girls be cloud your sense of reasoning. If he wanted to be with Aisha, he would have accepted her condition by divorcing her and, and getting married to her. But rather, he came to me this morning telling me about it. He was going to come to you and speak to you about it. But unfortunately, you beat him to it. Clara, you really need to calm down. This is not good. What is she doing here? I thought she was gone. She is supposed to be broken and not calm. I honestly didn't see this happening. We need to plan. We need to make sure she doesn't come out of this one thing. You seem to hate her very much. You have no idea. Even though I wonder why you're doing this. <laughs> Well, I just want a good life for myself. Your brother? He is a lover boy. And I want to be loved and cared for. You see, the day I and your brother spent the night, he mourned her name all through the night. I checked his wallet and I saw her picture everywhere. Thankfully, I took his complimentary card. And after that, God blessed me with this, this golden egg. And I decided to keep it till when it was needed. And here we are. You see, I was, I was born into poverty. And I will do anything to escape it. I will do anything possible. In that case, we have to make a plan. We have to make a plan to get her out and out for good. Clara. I promise that I will never ever hurt you again. I know I've wronged you. And I've failed you. And I feel terrible for that. But I promise you that it will never happen again. And I also promise you that come tomorrow, I'll right my wrongs. I love you, Clara.
still awake. Trouble sleeping. Anyways, why am I asking when you're married to a woman who literally blames you for everything wrong that goes on in her life? It is expected for you to lose sleep. What do you want, Ella? Brother, I'm your sister. Like your only family. You know that everything I want for you is happiness. Look, I want you to be with a woman who completes you. A woman who does everything to make you happy. And not that... Enough! I've had enough of you since you returned. I told you something in confidence. And now it has become a public affair. I cannot do this anymore. My family needs peace. My wife has been stressed enough. What are you saying? You will leave my house at dawn. And you will only return when I say so. You are my sister. Nothing can change that. But she's my wife. And you have to understand that. Uh, uh, you, you, you're kidding, right? I don't want to meet you in this house when I return from work tomorrow. So you finally succeeded in turning my brother against me. Are you happy now? What are you talking about? Hmm. My brother asked me to leave this house and only come back when he permits me to. He did? Like you didn't engineer him to. Oh, no, I didn't. But I'm happy about it. I mean, I've always wanted to do it, but I would never have imagined that Dennis would be able to make such decision. You know, I actually haven't been proud of him in a long time. This is a good one. Is that all you have to say? What did you expect me to say? You suddenly hate me, so why the pretense? Suddenly. <laughs> no, dear. It's not sudden. I've always hated you. Since you came into my brother's life, you became his favorite thing. He barely calls, speaks, or even thinks of me. I literally have to beg for anything before he gives it to me. It's always about you, you, you. I'm sure if he had his way, he would have stopped paying my bills because of you. Why would you even say a thing like that? I used to be his favorite. My brother would never take any decision without asking me first. He would never even let me ask before he gives me anything. He literally adored me. But these days, I have to beg before I get anything from him. You came in between me and my brother, and I'm not forgiving you for it. I hate you. You know what? I don't even care who, who, whoever he ends up with, so long as you are out. I might be leaving this house today, but I want you to know that your own days in this house are numbered. I hate you! I'm going to make sure I deal with Clara. Look, even though I'm, I'm leaving, I'm going to work with you from outside to make sure we deal with her. I'm going to make sure Clara loses it. Please do not worry, okay? I am here. I will make sure Clara will be dealt with, okay? I promise you that. You just take care of yourself. You take care of my brother's baby.
This discussion was supposed to have happened a long time ago. But it's happening now anyway, so it doesn't matter. There is no proof that the baby is mine. But regardless, I have decided to take responsibility. Clara is my wife, and I have no plans to divorce her for any reason. I also do not have any plans to get married to any other person, regardless of the situation. That being said, once the baby is born, my wife and I will take care of the baby. The child is mine, so yes, my wife and I have decided to take care of the baby. Meaning? Meaning I will give you enough money to go somewhere else and start up your life. Meaning you will have no business with this baby once it's born. <laughs> what? If you think you will use me to get a baby for yourself, <laughs> then you lie. This baby stays with me and you must marry me. Clara, you will not succeed. You will not succeed. This baby is mine. And my only ticket to a better life. So, I wouldn't let any of your plans succeed. There is a situation and um, it's complicated. She has a very bad fall and we have to save one person. Either we save the child or the mother. Ah. Doctor, why one person? Can't you save both of them? It's almost impossible. Uh, please, um, you have to decide how uh, you to save, please. Please. Decide. Save, Save the, the mother. mother. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me get you a form to fill. So you fill the form so I can proceed with the surgery immediately. Sorry. Uh, doctor, but please, how did it go? Yeah, the operation was successful, but as I feared, we lost the baby. Uh, but, but, but the mother will be fine. Babe, I, I actually went for the mother because of... because... I felt it was the right thing to do. But I know how important this child is to you, so... Why did you choose the mother instead? Being alive, Aisha can still have another kid. And if she dies, what will happen to the baby that she will get behind? Yes, I know we can take care of the baby, but... It's not worth her life. I know she has offended me, but I mean, I see her as a young girl who has her life ahead of her, and whatever it is she's done to me, it's just not worth it. She can always have other kids, like you said. That's why I, I chose the, the mother. I'm so sorry.
once again, um, I would like to apologize for everything that I did. I also want to thank you for saving my life, even though you had all the reasons to do otherwise. Um, I'm also sorry for trying to kill you. I'm really sorry. I pray God forgives me and grant you the opportunity to be a mother soon. Well, what God cannot do does not exist. I'm very positive. And I hope that you take good care of yourself and live a good life ahead of you. Thank have, you. Have a nice life. Hey, 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 beautiful. <laughs> Got my beautiful wife. <laughs> come, 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 come. Nothing, I was just thinking, you know? Thinking about what? Thinking about um, what next? Oh, what next? Um, let's just adopt. Okay. Okay, not a bad idea. Um, but not now, not anytime soon. Why? We'll give it at least um, a year, you know? We need to clear our minds of what has happened, yeah? And um, we need to go back to the loving couple that we've always been. The one that makes me breakfast. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the one that makes you breakfast, you know? And um, yeah, generally, I just feel we need to fill the entire house with lots of happiness before we bring in a child. Oh, yeah, yeah, but you're right. For the first time in a long time, you're right. For once! Ah! <laughs> yes, you, know, you, know right. you, know, you know, you know that's not right. You know that's not right. It's not true. It's not true. I'm always right. Well, I'm married to a smart man. Okay. 